I will never ever stop. No matter how many views I get, no matter how many people don't watch my videos no more, no matter how much money I'm making off my videos, I will never stop content creating. I don't do it for money. I don't do it for views. I don't do it to be likable. I do it for my supporters that's been riding with me from day one and y'all know who I'm talking about. I'm not talking about those, you know, here today going tomorrow supporters, baby. I'm talking about the ones, my Ace Boons clones who's been there with me through thick and thin. Little, little, make it pop. What's up? If he broke, then we can't talk. No. The f I make it shake. What? Like a shake weight. Make it break. Like an earthquake. Break the bank. If I put this work in, is you gon' cut me a Birkin? Money make this hot girl act a fool when that's for certain. Ah. I'ma get the turkey. He know I'm his favorite person. What? That nigga think my. What's up, family? It's your girl, Chata Gertis, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, y'all. Today, your girl is back again with another video for you guys. This is a life update slash post-op surgery update from my keloid removal. I know I had a lot of questions, a lot of concerns under the comments. So I just kind of wanted to clarify. I told you guys I was going to wait a good three months. It's been about that before I show you guys what the healing process is now. Ever since this new year started, guys, I definitely have been feeling fresh. Last year, I was going through a lot of hard hardships a lot of ups and downs i definitely feel like god has turned my life around tremendously since then as you guys know i am a part-time student it gets really hectic as far as my schedule go but china is never too busy to update some content a lot of people have been asking where's the videos where's the videos i don't know if you guys know but your girl recently became a snapchat star make sure you guys add me on snapchat because i do be posting content even if it's on another media source babe it's still content is content i'm also working on getting chai money collection back up and running as you guys know your girl had an e-commerce site called chai money collection i started the company back in 2018 i got sticky with the irs had to pay my taxes had to settle that thank god for getting me through that tough time last year y'all i went completely baroque i lost everything i lost my home once upon a time i lost my car and it just was so much bad stuff happening to me back to back to back finances started getting tight my business had to close down and guys i just have to figure my life out that's what i've been doing i've been focused more so on what makes me happy such as reading books school studying enjoying family time and just a lot of self-care guys my life has gotten really really hard to manage especially with school being in my schedule now i don't never want you guys to think i'm inconsistent or i'm not making content if i don't make a youtube video i'm on another social media making some type of content for you guys i will never ever stop no matter how many views I get no matter how many people don't watch my videos no more no matter how much money I'm making off my videos I will never stop content creating because I don't do it for money I don't do it for views I don't do it to be likable I do it for my supporters that's been riding with me from day one and y'all know who I'm talking about I'm not talking about those here today going tomorrow supporters baby I'm talking about the ones my ace boons clones who's been there with me through thick and thin regardless of my relevancy regardless of what I've done over time they still standing for me they still riding for me that's who I make the content for I'm also working on my show, Catch Our Money 500. Make sure y'all stay tuned for that. It is dropping this summer. Make sure y'all stay tuned. That is my reality dating show that I made um about two, almost two summers ago. It is currently in post-production and it's all most rap i've been sitting on so many investments so many revamps so many ideas and i wanted to wait to the top of the new year to just kind of you know give it my full attention and then when i get my license i'm also moving to another state i haven't told y'all i haven't told y'all but i'm telling y'all now i plan on moving to the west coast i'm not going to tell you guys the location yet because i believe in getting there first before i start yapping lastly lastly only my snapchat supporters know about this secret but i'm gonna just reveal it to youtube your girl is working on a book i wrote it last year i'm not telling the names i'm not telling the titles but it's basically me writing letters to god when i lost my home when i lost my car when i went broke when i had to get on welfare nobody knew because i always kept a smile on my face i always stayed positive i always made sure i was making content for my supporters i am going to drop my book later this year it's more than likely going to be after i drop my show can't Your money find honey and i just stayed busy i didn't give up on myself no matter the hate no matter the negativity i still kept pushing 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 I planted a seed and now it's harvest season. As you guys know, I received keloid surgery back in October of last year from getting arm lipo. If you don't know, if you are a Philzpatrick 5, a Philzpatrick 6, look that up. Women of color, darker tone tones such as me on down. We are prone to keloid. Fast forward two months ago, almost three months ago, and these are the results now. I have healed wounds that is not hard to see. That is the uh, first side and here is the other side. 
literally guys if i could come any closer like it looks so freaking good here is a up close shot of it y'all when i tell y'all um two months ago i suffered from hyperpigmentation in the area from the radiation and I was so insecure about it. Even when I would go to the gym, um, I wear like a lot of crop tops and stuff. So I would sometimes like wear my jacket over it. Like, and then I said, you know what? I'm going to love myself no matter what condition I'm in. So what I literally started doing guys with me being in beauty school, learning about skincare, I learned that when you put moisture back into a wound, that is what causes the melanin to heal. Every single day I was putting shea butter on it as well as sunscreen. Let me tell y'all about sunscreen because sunscreen has been around for years, but it's not as used as often as it needs to be darker skin tones men and women we have to stay moisturized and we have to stay protected what is protection spf vitamin c when you are not using these things you get sun damage your skin starts aging your skin starts hyperpigmenting we must moisturize every single day we must wear spf every single day will you die if you don't no <laughs> if you are into skincare and you do want to improve your skin whether it's your your body skin whether it's your face you know the skin on your face i highly recommend taking your self-care a little bit more serious now that i'm in school and i am learning about skin vitamins water intake dieting you know different things such as pcos you know in women things of the sort i am learning how to prevent it and i am learning to take care of myself before it's too late because your skin ages babe to each its own everybody has a personal preference you know so my thing with my scar a couple months ago i felt like it was really really dark around the um area where it was radiated and it's still a little hyperpigmentation there you can actually still see it nevertheless it is not as bad and i definitely feel like if i continue doing what i'm doing you know covering moisturizing it and covering it with spf it will certainly heal on its own um so i'm not going to use any harsh products on it because i do not want to cause more hyperpigmentation my skin has brightened up tremendously but it's getting there it's getting there and i'm literally doing not much just moisturizing every day and putting spf on it if you guys want me to update you guys again you know for instance if you guys are getting keloid surgery or struggle with keloids i definitely don't mind updating you guys again if you want just let me know down below in the comments but yeah guys that really completes this video i just wanted to let you guys know your girl is still alive your girl is still here i have a lot of work coming up for you guys follow the show page so as soon as we launch guys you guys can be notified feel free to drop your opinions of the footage the quality things of the sort i just wanted to let you guys know i'm working man i'm not just sitting on my behind man i'm working i'm going to school i'm getting my business back running i'm writing a book just dropping a show so i have so much in store for you guys this year i don't want you guys to think i'm not working i'm always working one thing about it okay two things for show sure. i love y'all and i hope you guys enjoyed this video bye no, no.